Hello everyone, my name is Emily and I'm the Program Manager for the National Student Data Corps. Welcome to the NSDC Data Science Flashcard video series. This series will break down data science topics in simple terms that you can leverage throughout your data science journey. The first collection of this series will discuss an example of a data science pipeline. Although there are a variety of examples of data science pipelines, this phrase typically refers to a process in which you collect, transform, analyze, and present your data in an organized and understandable format. But before we jump into this process, it's important that we understand why we're looking to leverage data, where our data is coming from, and whether our data has been ethically sourced. Data analytics allows us to take large data sets and find hidden patterns or trends that can answer otherwise complex questions. So first you'll need to come up with your question or problem statement. Are you interested in recommending methods that would increase company sales for the upcoming quarter? Are you interested in identifying forms of bias in social media data? Your question or motivation is just as important as your analysis throughout this process. Now, let's review bias and ethics. Data science ethics is an essential topic that the Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub promotes as a first step in your learning journey. A good data scientist needs to understand the ethical issues surrounding the data they collect and use. This is because of bias an intentional or unintentional systematic error that may generate distorted results and lead to unfair recommendations. Bias can be introduced through data collection, model training, algorithms, human error, and more. We want to ensure that our analytics and decisions support the equitable treatment of all individuals and groups, all while assisting us in solving our chosen problem statement accurately. Let's look at an example. A data scientist is tasked with analyzing the health risk, or more specifically, the asthma incidence associated with a geographic area. Bias may arise in this use case for a variety of reasons. For example, the information related to certain geographic areas may be omitted in the analysis, such as the lower income areas that are near high automotive exhaust, which might in the end make the overall analysis look better. In other cases, one may average the results and not identify the much higher health risk that becomes visible when the data is broken down by zip code thereby ignoring the need for action to reduce air pollution and the resultant asthma risk in certain areas. As you can see, it is important that the data scientist does not ignore or discount any of the geographic area's data. Using all appropriate data will ensure a clearer understanding and should result in more complete and equitable conclusions and decisions. We welcome you to follow along with the rest of the NSDC Data Science Flashcard video series to learn more about the data science pipeline, data science ethics, and additional topics to support your journey. For more on data science ethics, the NEBD Hub encourages you to visit the OpenDS for All GitHub repository, NSDC video library, and the Learner Central. We provide these resources to ensure that you are asking and answering the right questions fairly and ethically in the practice of responsible data science.